The long-anticipated Freedom March from Selma to Alabama's capital of Montgomery finally gets underway as Dr. Martin Luther King addresses the crowd at the starting point. Twice before, the marchers had been turned back by state troopers. Now they march under a federal court order and with the protection of federalized National Guard units and regular troops, a total of nearly 3,000 men. For the first day, there are 3,200 marchers in line. Half of the four-lane Highway 80 is closed to traffic. Later, where it becomes two lanes, the marchers had been ordered by the court to reduce their number to 300, a measure designed for their safety. There are a few isolated flare-ups between whites and Negroes, but otherwise the demonstration is peaceful. The first day, the marchers tramp a little over seven miles. Those who have been assigned to complete the 54-mile walk hope to present a petition to Governor George Wallace. The first night is spent in a field near New Sister Springs Baptist Church, their host, a Negro farmer. While 2,900 of the marchers return to Selma, the rest resume their long trek. Organizers hope their ranks will be swelled once again when the nucleus arrives in Montgomery. The Freedom March has been an historical venture in nonviolent protest.